Today we're playing Deto Nation by Seafreck. The game just starts, and we are greeted to a very bleak and dreary landscape. There's a green man walking towards me. Green men are usually not a good sign. West move. Mouse shifts my camera around. Click. No grenades. Trying to see if I have any way to... Oh, there's a pistol on the ground. Okay. I assume you're a badman. Ooh, he exploded. Uh, spacebar. Locked. Can I knock? Hello? Apparently not. Um, so let's talk about the graphics. Pretty simple. Nothing incredibly nice looking, but they get the job done, which is fine. I like the fog effect that's sort of floating on top of the ground. And the, the atmospheric noise kind of sets the scene really well. I like that the camera sort of snaps to where I'm pointing the, the pistol. It gives me plenty of room to see what's ahead, but also prevents me to see what's behind me, which is kind of immersive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you shooting at me? More Greenman. Uh, what is that? Ew. Maggots is food. That's gross. Ammo. A key. Alright, I don't want to... Since I have a limited... Oh, well. There's the edge of the map. Since I have a limited amount of ammo, I don't want to fight someone if I don't have to. Um... I don't know if these tannish colored... Oh, are you a friend? Not a friend. Exploded. Uh, is this guy a friend? He looks normal. These guys don't. What are these little dancing things? I'm going to check them out. Whoa. I found a glitch. And I'm out of ammo. Well, that's no good. Oh, don't come after me. Nothing. Oh man, I'm done, Zo. There's nothing I can do. Bob and weave. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Oh, gotta get the pistol. And I'll check the trash cans. Ew. Gross. A door key, so I can open this door. But they're gonna jump me. Wait. Okay. The tan colored guys are not as strong. So that's good to keep in mind. Midkit. Okay, Q to heal. I have food that I've been collecting, but what is the point of food? Let's see, I went down last time. Let's go up this time. Oh, I can't go up. And that's the edge of the map. Okay. So it's just a, a small little playtest area. Got it. I really want to see what's in this building. But I just don't know if I can take on Mr. Machine Gun Man. Nice. I need more ammo if I'm going to take him on. 11? I don't know if that's enough.
Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I can avoid him. Oh man, I need a key. Hmm. Oh yeah, this crazy person. Well, they're not coming at me this time. I'm unsure to f how I feel about the fact that you can dodge bullets. It's kind of strange, but it's kind of cool as well. I mean, it seems like you're going for realism here. And dodging bullets is not very realistic, obviously. Armor? Got it. It's still locked. I don't know what happened there, but... He didn't seem to notice that I juked him. Oh, man. Oh, I thought he was coming after me. Wait a minute. I want to watch this. What is he doing? I thought he might start patrolling the building. I was going to be impressed if he did. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I've pretty much played what there is to do here. Whoa, did you respawn? Oh, man. Where did you all come from? <laughs> I think I'm dead. <laughs> Save me! An SMG? Dang. Okay. I got a ton of food from that. Alright, let's go for it, I guess. Oh, I'm out. Well, that's it, I'm dead. Well, um, so, the game feel it feels pretty good. I like my movement speed, and the firing my pistol feels good. Besides from the, the wonky slow bullet thing that I mentioned earlier. But I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I just haven't made up my mind about that. I can tell you're going for sort of a post-apocalyptic survival game. And it seems to work pretty well. Obviously, there needs to be a lot more than just running around shooting things. And it seems like you have some sort of hunger system, which will keep it interesting. For the most part, I like it. It's... It's very atmospheric, and you've you've done a good job at making me feel dread, even though this is a very low fidelity game. The only other criticism I might have is, sadly, survival, post-apocalyptic survival in particular games, are sort of flooding the market right now, and. I'm afraid that if you try to sell this game, it might just get lost in the shuffle. So, it's important to make your game stand out in some way. Either by making it really well polished, or just doing something that nobody else has done before. So, it's just something to think about as you're making it. But, I enjoyed it. And, I think you did a good job. And, I look forward to seeing how this improves and changes.